as the field rolls out. Feature field for the Nova Sunglass Superstars. Lego by Rego, Larry Rego, 51, will be on point for this one alongside the 27 of Peter Wills, heat race winner earlier on. Warm up laps now. Larry Rego, 51, 27 of Peter Wills. Andrew Meyer off for 21, the 11 of Ed Howard. Wayne Sankowski in the four alongside the 26 of Dave Meyer Hoffer. Last week's feature winner, the 65 of Jeff Trimble alongside the 88 of Trevor Howard. Chris Lowenhagen in the 10, Tony Wills, 63. Shane Krieger, 69, rounding up the pack. 20 laps for the Novus Autoglass Superstocks presented by LS Electric and Kent Sports. We're green. Side by side, they go up front. Rego on the inside, Peter Wills around the outside, gonna try to take the lead away like he did in the heat a little bit earlier on. Figuring out that outside line is the 27, but Rego leads lap one. Again, that's Andrew Meyerhofer behind the wheel of the 21 this week. Meyerhofer, a Mid-American Stock Car Series racer. Fill it in for cousin Rachel. Wills fading a little bit on the outside of Rego is doing a good job of holding on to the inside line. The veteran racer, the Super Stock Division side by side with Peter Wills. Then Meyerhofer and Meyerhofer. Andrew 21, Dave 26, ready to pounce. side we go for that lead spot Rego still trying to hold off Peter Wills that 27 car has been really good on the outside the last two weeks can't quite make the pass though Sankowski gonna jump to the outside Trevor Howard's already up into the top five of the 88 fast qualifier on the move this time bottom of lap number six Wayne Sankowski to the outside of Trevor Howard, and then he kicks up a little dust on the back stretch. Black flag coming out for the 88 of Trevor Howard. I believe that would be mechanical. Apparently a fuel leak on the 88 car. Yeah, there you can see some of the fluid coming out of the 88 car out that right side. And Trevor Howard uh, kind of hanging on out there. Meanwhile, up front, nothing decided between your top two with Rego on the inside. Peter Will still holding on up top. Meyer offer and Meyer offer there, ready to pounce just in case something happens between the top two. Halfway through this time. Rego's been able to hold off Peter Wills at least for now. Andrew Meyerhofer all revved up back in that third spot just waiting to see which line is going to go. He would prefer it's the inside line as he's keeping it down low. Trevor Howard finally going to the exit in the 88 again. Black flag coming out for a fuel leak on that machine. 63 smoking a little bit as well. Wayne Sunkowski's falling back in the four. He'll go side by side with Ed Howard. P2 
Peter Wills trying to wrestle that lead away from Larry Rego. Edging ahead around the outside this time. Could Peter Wills get it done? Looking for the lead. It's close. It was Rego at the line, but not by much. Peter Wills gonna try to keep hold it on outside for seven more circuits. Make it six this time as they hit the strut. This time, Peter Wills is scored as the leader. Andrew Meyerhofer exercising all the patience he can right now. Then Dave Meyerhofer sitting in fourth with trouble behind, rounding up the top five. Peter Wills doing just what he did last week, holding on to that outside line and hoping for some sort of a stake out of Rego down on the inside. Doesn't look like that's happening yet, though. Let's see if Andrew Meyerhofer plays a factor in this one as, uh, at all as he's hanging right on that back bumper of the 51. Rego getting a little wide that time in turn four. Didn't cost him the lead though as Will still has plenty of space to roam up top. And now down to two and a half circuits left to this one. Will's fighting back on the outside to pull even again in three and four. Rego a little bit of a slide in four. Both drivers probably have white knuckles right now. Will's trying to hold on on the outside. Larry Rego looking for his first one of the year. Side by side, they go again into three and four as Will's pulls even again. They make contact coming to the white flag. Will's has got the lead. Peter Will's looking for his first ever super stock win. Went a little wide that time. Rego pulled even. It'll be another swing through three and four to see who gets it done. Will's charging in on the outside. Will he make it work? Yes, he will. Peter Will's with the win. And the level of difficulty on that went for Peter Wills as high as it comes as he holds on on the outside for the entirety of that race. And just when it was time, Peter Wills seizes the lead and we have ourselves a first time feature winner in the Super Stocks. Picks a great night to do it during the red race. How about it for Peter Wills? That right there is going to be a popular win and a fantastic job. Almost did it last week on Tremble. This week gets it done on Larry Rago, just like the heat race. And well, I will say this much, if Peter Wills can continue to operate on that outside line for the rest of the season like that, you may see that 27 car back in victory lane a few more times. We'll set it down to Lauren Leach with our winner of the Super Stock feature, Peter Wills. Peter Wills down out of the car. It was the battle of the uh, blue and yellow machines today. Yeah, it was. How did you learn to use high lane? Because I don't know if I anyone that high lane like you did tonight for that many laps and beat a guy who's been very successful here, especially on the bottom. Uh, I don't know. It was hard, but I guess I just figured it out. What's the key to it? <laughs> I guess I can't say, I really, they don't know. Very minimal contact as well. Who makes this possible for you, Peter? Uh, big thanks to my dad, and Rod Brew, and uh, everyone who helps me out. My girlfriend gets me out every week, and, and uh, thanks to LNS Electric, and Ken Sports, and Cutters Landscaping. Winner of the Red Race for the Novus Auto Glass Super Stocks, Peter Wills.